Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming on to review a couple of items from Product Chunky Naturals. So you did see me talk about them in a previous video. Did have some issues with our customer service. Replacement is like half empty. But you know I'm a product junkie and I love products and I give each product a fair shot and I don't judge them by, you know, issues. So I got two items. I got the Hibiscus and Pentagreek Leave-In Conditioner. It's a bit of an issue with the labeling because it kind of runs when it gets wet as you can see. And I got this Rosemary Matcha Green Tea Deep Conditioner. So I, the ingredients are really interesting. That's what kind of, of course, got my attention. So here are the ingredients. It would be nice to have another green tea deep conditioner that I like. And I saw that it had honey, you know, marshmallow root slippery. I'm like, on the books, it looks good. The only caution for me was the shea butter, because I know shea butter can kind of sit on my hair. But I decided to give it a try because it did have a lot of good stuff and a lot of stuff that works for me usually. And these are the ingredients for this one. Of course, it's the labeling again, but you can see it. So the ingredients are pretty similar, at least the main part. Of course, I always like hibiscus, but it has the marshmallow root, the shea butter, which is questionable for me, and agave nectar again, which is a humectant. So they both had possibilities, but things kind of went wrong for me. I posted on Instagram when I tried a deep conditioner because it just felt like if I put shea butter on my hair. So I did a DIY challenge a while back. I, I made my own DIY challenge and I did it with my group. And I used a lot of shea butter and I was just praying to get myself to the end so I could shampoo it out because it just kind of sat on my hair. And this is how this was for me. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> you can see the slip is mm, just okay, I guess. My hair feels soft, but not really moisturized like i'm not really sure how much it could be moisturized i can't even tell with all this heavy stuff on it i'm not sure how much moisture actually got in there so my hair was instantly soft it did soften my hair but it was sitting the moisture wasn't getting in so even though it has honey even though shea butter was really low down i don't know if it's a shea butter or something else but this just sat on my hair and it never went in so I've been talking recently about the conditioners that sit on my hair and I panic and I go steam and it goes in. It's sad, I panicked, I steamed and nothing. It still didn't really penetrate. Even while it was in my hair, my hair was like really frizzy. And then when I rinsed my hair, it kind of sealed the deal. It was just a lot of frizz. So let me just show you. A lot of frizz, not enough moisture, didn't penetrate well at all, and I would have to say this is a no for me. So, I've seen people on Instagram like this, I don't know if they like this particular product, so, but maybe there are people who like it, maybe if you have higher porosity you'd like it, but just for me, it didn't do the thing. So if you are ultra low, low porosity, not your mama's porosity, then, I don't know, be careful with this one. So, but you know, it may work for you, but for me, it was a no. So it smells really nice. It has almost like a kind of cocoa coffee scent, and I do like the scent. I did use a lot, <laughs> so you can just kind of see the end, but this is the texture. And I like the texture as well. It's a nice creamy texture, you know, nothing wrong with the texture. So if scent and texture was all we needed, we would have been good. But for some reason, it just... Didn't like my hair. <laughs> so, unfortunately the leave-in was a similar story for me. It didn't do anything and it made my hair really frizzy. So I guess it was worse than nothing because it made my hair really frizzy. They didn't dry out my hair or anything, it just didn't moisturize it. The slip also was kind of just okay, so when I hit a tangle it was like no slip. But if there were no tangles I could get my hands through. So this is another no for me. So I don't know if maybe I should just avoid shea butter or maybe it's just this product. So I am going to look through some of my other products to see if there are shea butter in there. I don't usually look out for that ingredient because I mean I used to use DIY shea butter in my pre-poo when I used to pre-poo. And you know never really did anything that alarming that I would like watch out for it. But 
this is making me want to watch out for shea butter but I know sometimes products can have you thinking it's a it's an ingredient and it's just a product so this is the texture of the leave-in I like the scent it's like a slight musky perfumey scent but it's one of a more musky it's not really flowery so I do like the scent I don't feel a lot of slip even now the texture is interesting because my hands are just kind of I can feel my fingers I can feel my fingerprint if you know what I mean like I can actually feel the roughness of my finger pads so I don't know if it's just melting but it feels like there's nothing there in terms of that no you know little bit of coating I guess so maybe that just means the slip is so tired. maybe that means it feels like nothing I don't know but I can actually feel the lines the ridges on my fingertips so so can I say anything great about these I like the scent and texture of both she does have good sales and and I have some friends, I have two, I know two people who actually really love this leave-in. Like two people who think this leave-in is the best thing in the world. So if you are high porosity or normal porosity, maybe this leave-in might be a new bay. But for me and my low porosity, it just didn't do anything for me. So this, this is two people's HGs, it's just not mine. So I'm, not, I'm definitely not repurchasing these, but somebody likes it. So at least this. One of my friends said the deep conditioner was just okay, and the other one that I know, well, she unfollowed me and stopped talking to me. She stopped talking to me on Instagram because I said that this frizzed out my hair, so I don't know if she like knows the owner or what, but, you know, I'm not one of those reviewers that just say nice things about everything. I just actually tell you well, how it works in my hair. Like, I thought that's what we were doing, talking about products. Take a look at how the leave-in conditioner worked in my hair. Naturals review at least for these two products. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you like this this product or this line. Any product that I post, you can tell me how much you love it or hate it. It's fine with me. I'm not mad at you. But anyway, so that was my review. <laughs> so thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.